Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are playing on the early access, we are on version 9H3A. This is the brand new new beginning, it's revisited, it has been relaunched, there has been a lot of things that have changed, revisited, updated and so on and so forth. But for today's video we are going to be playing one of my favorite builds right now in the game and that is using Pesticide burst and contagion so we are going to be running a singular focus build the runes we are running are going to be skill inclination nature unconventional start skill mastery nature with the uh, contagion and pesticide burst contagion is found with the death knot uh, pesticide birth is uh, discovered through the hound master's second weapon and then we've got multicast mastery singular focus elemental flow and battle proficiency for the prowess which gives us increased damage modifiers for a certain period of time or at least a chance to get it so we're going to go straight on to danger level 14 max curse i have absolutely everything up and running all of the curses and let's see how this goes uh, a lot of the curses have changed and everything like that but this video is for us to do absolutely insane things with pesticide blast i mean with poison and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to start off with Pesticide Burst. What I do want you to know is that you do need to get quite a bit of cur uh, crit in this. At least 100% or at least up to 100% uh, as quickly as possible. Because there are the dot uh, passives that give you cr uh, more poison uh, p with crit attacks. So or you have a chance to poison on crit. And that's going to help you deal more damage with your contagion as well. So every time you do see things like that, you are more than happy to take them. They're they are going to come in handy now if you don't like contagion but you do like skills like purging slam or like a reap for uh, doom stacking and things like that then you can use purging slam as well purging slam actually does share the frontal tag with pesticide blast so you can get a lot of area of effect for frontal and then it's going to work with that as well however i find that the aoe on the contagion to be a lot more stable and a lot better for my playstyle and where a, you know purging strike i need to or purging slam sorry i need to kind of focus what i'm doing where contagion is going to hit everything around me i don't have to focus on what it is that i'm attacking so that's just a personal preference there are other ways to play it again like purging slam uh, but if you don't want to use them then you don't have to so here's a good example if we had purging slam this would have gone and increased the damage for it as well where here it's only doing our pesticide burst that's all right we're going to go banish leviathan uh, we are going to be playing on to uh, a couple of overlords just for everyone we're not going to be running expand or oh, maybe for now we'll keep some so we'll grab the magnetic and then we're just going to re-roll until we now fill out all of our pesticides blasts again increased area uh, it, sorry again we do want to try and grab as much crit as quickly as possible hopefully we do get it without stressing too much about it uh, because we want to get it naturally but you know we we just got to go with what we kind of getting so here you see quite a lot of poison we do actually not want uh, anything to do with just the damage modifier of a single pesticide because as you can see if we hover over the skill it only going to be upgrading the damage modifier of this pesticide blast and now if we go and remove this it is going to increase the chances of finding more of these epic damage increases uh, for frontal or for or any of our other poison skills so we are going to banish these make sure you do do that and then we're going to lock this go there grab that again Ooh, okay we're going to grab the vicious strikes as well because that's going to be fantastic we did already just grab one of these and it gave us another one i know it looks very weird when that happens but we're going to grab the vicious strike because again we do want to crit uh, to uh, you know prepare ourselves for that passive that's going to be coming up all right there's nothing much really else to think about you can get yourself the ascension boosts which are going to go and increase the amount of mana you gain, how long it lasts for, 
and things like that so i mean it is actually very good to go and get that uh, we're gonna grab that we're gonna skip active skills now because we have all of the skills we want we are going to grab the uh, magnetic over here you don't really need it we do get quite a lot of magnetic already so there isn't really a point to grab that many uh, i'll go up to about 70 percent uh, 70 80 even 60 percent is enough after that you're not going to see me really grabbing it as much we do want the movement speed as well because the bosses have spawned but as you can see even on max difficulty the bosses just get instantly murdered now one thing that they did change from the old uh, new beginning to the, uh, the the latest release is that some of the curses have been changed or updated now if we go and have a look at them there were the warlords of the void curse um, what they did is they used to give block chance to the bosses the block chance has been removed so the bosses no longer are able to block any of your attacks now that was one of the biggest things with any build in the game uh, not having anything to deal with the block or hitting a lot and hitting hard did make the variety of builds able to do the highest difficulty or on the highest curse a little bit more uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for slim so you couldn't have as many builds doing it as you may have thought because of things like that so over here we're going to go for merciless because we are going for crit we don't need magnetics anymore so we are going to banish them oh my look at that we banished it and we get rewarded with the multicast on contagion now multicast on contagion actually isn't that great of a deal because oh see there we go this is exactly why we are getting crit because now our crits are going to apply poison um, so multicast on contagion doesn't really matter too much because uh, we are going to be applying a lot of poison however we only really need it to hit once once it hits once we're going to be fine also you can get a really low cooldown down on it you don't have to worry too much about that because we're going to be applying uh, you know so many stacks of poison that we're not going to worry about that now also pay attention to the bosses over here pay attention to the amount of stacks of poison on them we don't have our ascension up but just take a look at the the number of poisons before they instantly die uh, we're already on a thousand stacks over there on the one boss uh, just by doing that and obviously contagion is going to hit really really hard when it does hit and it's just going to be really really good there so again just going for that we can grab the mana infusion now Ooh, we got another dodge yes so you know if we we can do it why not you know for the the memes why not grab as many dodges as possible although we're not going to need them because we're not going to be planning on dodging much anyway we can just get a little bit of movement speed and then everything's going to die anyway uh, we do need a little bit more area of effect to be fair but otherwise we are in such a good spot that we're probably going to finish this in under a couple of minutes and then we're also going to go into the overlord uh, show you what you do on the very 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 beginning of the overlord because uh, that is what's going to kill you most likely uh, as soon as you go through the portal and the round begins that's the most dangerous part of overlord and we're going to show you what you can do to kind of counter that effect um, it's just really be careful more than anything else but uh, it is really really dangerous Okay, damage for contagion all attacks apply poison again just stacking as much poison as possible we can re-roll this and there's more poison now there is a poison upgrade that we are hopefully going to see we haven't seen it just yet and that is that our poison is going to deal a portion of its damage immediately um, so it's kind of like a, a mini uh, uh, contagion from the start i was trying to think of what the the name of the skill was um, so it is like a mini contagion from the start without having to actually have contagion and that's going to be really really strong as well so we're going to be dealing a lot of poison damage without even the use of contagion and it's going to just kill everything so we're going to grab the mana infusion over there we're going to grab the area of effect grab that even more poison and let's just keep going uh, i think now we can actually start saving up the levels till we get a whole whack of them there's no real point in pausing all right now we are on the last bosses we don't need to destroy that tower it isn't a pillar of protection once the pillar of protection goes and uh, uh, becomes available for us to kill we'll go and kill that i uh, do advise that you prioritize pillars of protections if you are playing on the max curse because they do give a uh, 
20% damage reduction, which is, uh, you know, it does scale, so it's per pillow protection. So if you have six of these, you're doing 60% less damage to the bosses or enemies, and you're going to find it yourself in a really rough time trying to kill everything when they've got that much damage reduction. So just before they go and uh, revive, we're going to grab the lethality, the damage increase over there. We'll grab some block power, why not? More area of effect on there. And then we can go see. I don't know why this one's like uncommon when it does the same thing as common. Uh, maybe that is a bug as well that needs to take uh, get taken a look at. But uh, we're going to grab that. I think we are at a really good uh, cost frequency bonus already. You can see the bosses just immediately melting. Uh, ooh, that's immediately melting as well, so that's not very good. <laughs> Oops. Alright, it looks like our area of effect is much better now. Although you don't really see it because of the way that the contagion spell works, um, we do have a decent amount of area of effect over there. So we're going to grab a bit of health. It looks like we do kind of need it, uh, just to make sure we don't get one shot as we're going into the overlord cycle. And this is how you, you play the game and, you know, find out oh okay i need this passive now or okay grabbing myself more of this is going to be more beneficial and so on and so forth so we died there we didn't have enough life i'm going to start stacking a bit more life now because i know as soon as we go into the overlord uh, if we get touched we're going to die so that's how we we base everything off of that uh, again we are on max curse so we are going to get hit real hard and we want to just try and work all of that or sort all of that out all right so we do have our ascension up i really do like the arcane weavers ascension for weird and wonderful builds because of the multicast chance 62 percent increased multicast it means that everything's going to be hitting more often uh, and really hard we do get the movement speed as well from the arcane weaver so that really really helps and if anything isn't hit by contagion it also spreads all that poison over to them oh actually it doesn't sorry i don't know what i'm talking about contagion removes poison just ignore that i was saying that um we need to move away from there there we go and final one is dead all right perfect so that was seven minutes which is really really fantastic again we do need to just try and get as much of this going poison now causes damage more frequently yes we are going to grab that uh, we're going to go with multicast chance yes and then some more lethality so as you can see we are over 100 percent we could probably if we wanted to stop going for lethality uh, we could banish it now but we do get multi crits, which means that we would apply even more poison. So you can do that. We are in the overlord now. So what we're going to start doing is we are going to make sure we are moving around. We want to move around as much as possible because if we stand still or if we are hit by anything right now, we will take a lot of damage. So do use your dodges if you don't have a lot of movement speed. So just, you know, dodge around. These guys are very scary in the heart overlords. Uh, or in any overlord actually they are going to deal a lot of damage to you and because they are ranged um, you've got to kind of look at getting rid of them as quickly as possible so that's like i said you do want to just move around as much as possible luckily we took a bit of health as well so that didn't hurt us as much as it should have um, there we go we just got to stay at least a little bit closer to them so that we can one shot them without dying but as you can see we take a lot of damage now this is the problem with these builds is they don't have the defenses that you normally need to survive things but we're going to go and grab that we haven't received um some of the upgrades we were looking for like our poison deals a damage more free uh, like this one over here which we're getting a lot more of but also things like uh oh reduce the amount of mana that's really really good um, like I mentioned earlier, there was the poison deals damaged uh, immediately. Uh, we haven't received that upgrade. If we did receive one of those, uh, I think we would be in a much better spot as well. But it is what it is. We can't really have everything. It is RNG based. There's no real way to... Oh, there we go. Look at that. So whenever you apply poison, a portion of the total damage is caused immediately. Um, and that's going to be really, really good for us. We can go now and banish the multicast over there. I don't know why that was uh, still a thing and not, you know, gotten rid of. 
and now you can see we have a much better AoE on Contagion as well. We've got our Ascension up, uh, so these bosses are going to die a lot faster now. Again, poison dealing a portion of its damage immediately means that we are going to kill things a lot sooner. And there we go, boss is dead. Fantastic. We just don't die. That's, that's the best way to do this. All right, we don't want Doom to poison. Now, I've had this before where this actually goes and causes us to lag quite a lot. So I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, we are going to go for more poison damage over there. Um, increased poison damage, increased damage over there. A little bit more movement speed's not going to hurt anyone. And then we're actually going to lock that armor because it is a rare power up and it could come in clandy uh, in handy i was going to say clutch and then handy at the same time uh, that's what happened there with that so we we can come in handy with this a uh, nice uh, area uh, armor over there so we will grab it and then a more area of effect now the area of effect is a big one over here although pesticide blast is a burst not blast is a flamethrower skill I uh, do think the area of effect it is a bit higher than what the actual game shows you uh, and I think it can be really beneficial to run it so that's what we're doing okay contagion pop there we go everything around us does and we're at the point where we can just chill in the middle and not really get that hurt and as I say that we lose about 50 HP so that was a lot all right, I am going to go for uh, both of these. I'm going to get more cast frequency because I feel like we're not casting as fast as we should be. And that could be a reason as to why we aren't killing as quickly as I, was li as I would like. So I do want to go and get more cast frequency on here. Try and get it down to an even lower number. We did lose 8 seconds on the time. So that is quite a big upgrade or jump in both DPS and, uh, you know, just survivability over there. Make sure we pick up all the mana crystals. And there we go. She died. That's fantastic. They should all die. There we go. Beautiful. So it's taken just a little bit longer than I had hoped to do one cycle. That's all right. We will go on into the last cycle and that will be it. Uh, I think so, just because of the amount of time it's taking. There are going to be a lot of builds like this, and so we are going to be playing them. Most of them I land up playing on the Arcane Weaver, uh, just because I like the multicast chance, but you can play them on absolutely anyone. I don't think the character itself matters too much, but I think the next one, uh, instead of the Arcane Weaver, I do have another character that we're going to be playing. Also playing it on a character, like I've mentioned a thousand billion times, and I will reiterate this just in case you haven't seen every other video that I play or have uh, you know made is that I do it on the arcane weaver because he doesn't have access to poison now what that means is when we do play with poison inclination nature inclination and then nature skills because he has no other nature skills it makes it a lot easier for me uh, or anyone else to go and then be able to get the poison skills as quickly as possible so that's why we do it uh, i think we're going to stop going for area of effect now on the skills we are on over 100 percent i think that's more than enough uh, i do wish there was a little bit of a visual indicator maybe that's something the devs can put in the future uh, for the skills you know if you hover over it maybe it will show a circle of where or how it works uh, area of effect wise that would actually be a really really cool quality of life change i uh, will put it down in a suggestion because uh, you know if you agree with me you can let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see a feature like that where the area of effect can actually be visually seen uh, you know if you hover over the skill or at some time during the game maybe maybe in the pause menu or whatever Alright, so we're going to go for that, reduce the amount of damage over there, uh, over here we're going to go and we're going to banish the expansive, we can banish the multicast, and we're going to go and grab things over there. So we no longer need area of effect, we're going to banish the area of effect as well. We can keep going for crits, so we can do that. We found another rotting, which is massive, because that's going to be a huge amount of damage increased. Uh, poison over there, more crit. Uh, infused that we don't need this anymore either so we can go and banish that and there we go 
So we have no more banishes. The game does give us 10 banishes now instead of 5. It's fantastic because there are so many passives that you have to look out for and things like that. But the fact that now we do so much more damage with our skills. Oh, this is so good. Just look at this. It is beautiful. Alright, so reduce the amount, I mean increase the amount of those that we get. There, damage is perfect. Damage, crit, another rotting. We are doing 120% of the poison damage instantly. Now that is insane because we already only do, uh, I mean we're already doing 11,000 uh, damage from just the skill. You're timesing that by 5, that's 50,000 damage or 55,000 damage. We've also got all the damage from the poison itself which is sitting at 40,000 damage. Uh, so that's a lot of damage that's coming from the poison already and that's going to be immediate damage without us even doing anything. Um, but it doesn't actually look like it works that way because, uh, you know, we didn't really hit them unless I never hit them with uh, any of the pesticide bursts. So I do see a lot of people, things dying without contagion actually reaching them, which is perfect, but uh, I don't know exactly how this works. And then there we've got our next bosses up and running a lot of damage you can see how it's just ticking away at their life i mean that is insane and then now because we do have a lot of our ascension upgrades as well you can see that our ascension is lasting longer we're able to pick up a crystal and keep it alive for a lot longer so you do want it on every character if it makes sense to grab the power-ups for the ascension there is still something i need to do with the assassin where we get a, uh, one of his ascension buffs is to get a lot of damage on there and if you're able to get more damage than you would on like the paladin or the uh barbarian using the assassin it's going to be a thousand times better because he gets different bonuses but that's it guys as you can see contagion doing a whack ton of damage over there uh, that's 5.4 billion damage without the skill uh, even showing you the the overkill damage so there we go 25 billion damage uh, 1.5 billion coming over there we actually did quite a lot of radiant beam damage and astral safeguard which is from uh, you know whenever we get hit uh, astral safeguard will proc damage but in 13 minutes uh, we did really really well it was really easy as you could see and you could keep going even further and further so let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought about the build please remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and always remember keep safe survivors until next time cheers